12 Reasons Retail Workers Secretly Hate You. Number one, walking in five minutes before closing time and shopping slowly. Retail workers are on their feet all day, making closing time a precious, precious thing. Anyone who waltzes into a store five minutes before closing and expects to be able to try on clothes and take their time will make an enemy with their retail worker. Number two, ruining piles of folded clothes. Folding clothes perfectly takes a lot of time. Don't just jump in and trash the place just because you can. Number three, messing with the mannequins. Retail workers have to set up and dress the mannequins so they don't appreciate it when people feel entitled to move or undress them. And it happens more than you'd think. Number four, asking them to try on clothes for your wife, girlfriend, sister because I look about your size. Bottom line, this is creepy and you shouldn't do it. Number five, destroying the fitting room. You wouldn't believe how nasty some of these rooms can get. Keep in mind that someone, a real life human being, has to clean them up and try to stay as tidy as you can. Number six, letting your kid roam free. Most retail workers have the job they have because they don't want to be babysitters. Don't make them do it while you're shopping. Number seven, asking questions before their lunch break. If you see a retail worker about to take a break, don't riddle them with questions. They're human, they're hungry, and the polite thing to do is to let them go and find someone else. Number eight, stealing. Retail workers often get trained in how to deal with this situation, meaning they have to use a pre-written customer service statement. If they see you do it, it's not a good look though. Number nine, you're on the phone during the entire checkout process. This is just a rude person on person level. P.S. The same thing applies to your waiter who's coming to take your food order. Number 10. You're asking for a discount on a full price item. Retail workers don't make the rules of their store's sales, so don't ask them to bend them. They have no power to do so, and it's annoying to be asked a million times a day. Number 11. You wander off in the middle of an interaction. Their job is to help you, not hold your items in silent confusion while you waltz off to shop in a different part of the store. Number 12. Your credit card doesn't work. Look, it happens to the best of us. No judgments. Just make sure you don't make your retail worker swipe it a million times for the same result.